Some good news, some bad news, and I'd say a little something for everybody in the Northeast as we look through the next week. Let's start with the here and now on satellite and radar. And you'll notice that we do have some showers still across upstate New York, the I-90 corridor, for example. And as you're heading back toward the PA Turnpike, a couple of showers around if you're heading out to, let's say, Allentown or even into the Poconos. But you'll notice if you look closely at the satellite and radar loop that we're chewing away a little bit at the clouds and at the rain. That's because high pressure is largely in charge of of the Northeast, and we are going to see more in the way of heat and sunshine into the afternoon. On that note, let's talk temperatures here. The 95 corridor looking warm and sunny for most of your day, especially for this time of year. It's more like early September kind of weather. Boston 78 and sunny, 60, uh, 76 I should say in New York, 79 in Philadelphia, and 83 in Washington, D.C. In fact, we could actually set some high temperature records or at least tie a few across the Northeast, Mid Atlantic, and Ohio Valley today. From Baltimore to Philly, Wilmington to Glens Falls, New York, all the way back to Manchester, New Hampshire. You know, I find Manchester particularly interesting here because we would absolutely blow past the old record of 74 degrees. That was set back in 1971 with a high temperature today forecast at 80 degrees in your AccuWeather exclusive forecast. We keep those temperatures rolling into tomorrow. It's a warm day in Harrisburg, in Williamsport, Islip, Manchester again, and Bridgeport, Connecticut in the 70s the whole way through. Now, I will say this much. The 95 corridor has a pretty nice Saturday to get outside and enjoy, but we have a cold front on the way and we have a massive change across this part of the country. A big weather pattern change and it all starts right here. This front will drive some showers here from Columbus to Pittsburgh back up toward Erie into Saratoga Springs, Burlington for example and even as you're getting up into the Boundary Mountains of Maine toward Caribou, it's going to be a little wet here and there. Not a total washout but something to pay attention to. Perhaps have the umbrella if you're going maybe trick-or-treating a little early for example. Again 95 really gets rid of the rain on Saturday or at least doesn't get into it yet but Sunday the front drops south and here comes the showers back into New York for the eighth straight weekend of at least one day of wet weather. New Yorkers, please don't shoot the messenger. I can only tell you what the weather is. I can't change it for you. That's a little above my pay grade. All right, we do have showers back in New York and Boston and even out toward the Poconos heading in toward Poughkeepsie and some heavier, steadier rain back toward upstate New York if you live in, let's say, Buffalo or Rochester. Now, it's not just the rain that we're watching. This front introduces a massive cold stretch here. Look how we dropped the 60s in Pittsburgh on Sunday, but then holy cow, here we go again. Monday, Tuesday, we're in the 40s. That's not just in Pittsburgh. We have a big dip in the jet stream following this front, and that's going to essentially open the door from Canada to let the cold back into the U.S. It's really like we're throwing the door off the hinges here because there's so much cold air, not just in the Northeast, but back into the Midwest as well. High temperatures will be 5 to 15 degrees below where they should be this time of year. And the cold won't go unaccompanied with this system, with this area of low pressure. We have the potential to see some lake effect snow. It'll be just cold enough. But if this trough, if this big dip in the jet decides to dig, decides to really build, well, guess what? This could become a lot more robust. We could see some more accumulating snowfall and even soaking rain as we go from Tuesday into Wednesday of this coming week. We're going to keep a very close eye on the storm. Just a quick reminder as we look at your seven day forecast here in Boston that even with the precipitation we'll see at the beginning of the week, I really want to tell you about the temperatures where we go from that 70s stretch back to the 40s and 50s later next week. Stay warm.